Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to do simultaneous equations, but we are going to do it by means of substitution. Now the method of substitution is one of the most important methods because this is the same method that we take through to grade 11 and we take to grade 12. So it is advisable that you master this concept. Okay, so let's do the following example. If I've got x plus 3y plus 5 is equal to 0 and we have 3x minus 2y plus 4 is equal to 0. Now when we are doing simultaneous equations number one you must make x or y the subject of the formula. You can say the subject of the equation. So in other words it means I make x is equal to something or I make y is equal to something by using linear concepts of plus and minus move over the equal to sign. Number two, you're going to substitute into the second equation. Number three, you're going to solve either for x or y. Number four, which is the most important concept, is you must go back and substitute your answer. So in other words, the answer we got from here, we're going to go back and substitute it. And we are now going to solve for y or x. So whatever we didn't solve for in number 3, we are now going to solve in number 5. And then a good habit is to write it in coordinate form. Right. Let's take the following example. If you look at this first equation, we've got x, a single x, we got a 3y. The second equation, we got a 3x and a minus 2y. So the safest one, or the one that is already alone, is the x. So we're going to try and get x alone. Okay, I want to get the x alone, so I'm going to have x is equal to, I'm going to move over the 3y, so it becomes minus 3y. I'm going to move over the 5, so it becomes minus 5. So what I've done was, I've made x or y the subject of the equation. So x is alone. Now, I'm going to substitute it in the second equation. It's like how you play soccer. If you're playing soccer, and Mr. X is playing bad, we're going to take him out. So I'm going to take him out. 3, and now Mr. X is no more there. Everything else is the same in the game. But you took out x and you're going to put in his substitution. What are you putting in his place? Minus 3y minus 5. So we substituted into the second equation. We used the first equation and we made x the subject. Now we are substituting into the second equation. Then we are going to solve for x and y. Now if you look, this is a linear equation. If you are not familiar with your linear equations, go over the summary of grade 9 solve for x where we have discussed linear equations. We are going to first get rid of the brackets. So we have got minus 9y minus 15 minus 2y plus 4 is equal to 0. I'm going to take over the 9 and the 2 because I don't like having negative y's. So I'm going to have 9y plus 2y because it went over the equal to sign. It's adding and on this side we have minus 15 plus 4 giving us minus 11 is equal to 11y. Divide by 11 I got y is equal to negative 1. Now we've solved for y. Now you would notice if we solve for y, then in this equation we're going to solve for x. It says you need to go back and substitute your answer. So I'm going to go back. It doesn't matter which equation you go back to. You can go back to this equation, you can go back to this one or this one. I prefer to go back to the one where we had substituted because it's already x is equal to. Now if you want x equal to, then it's easier to write. So 
So we've got x is equal to minus 3y minus 5. I'm going to take my, my 1, my negative 1, and I'm going to put it in place of y. So I've got x is equal to minus 3, open brackets minus 1, that's my substitution, minus 5. And my answer is minus 2. Minus 3 times minus 1 is 3, minus 5 gives me minus 2. How do I write my final answer? My x first and then my y. Thank you for watching this video.